friend of mine, Nick, um, at uh, a customer at Slinky's, uh, was missing Graham Davis's uh, drawings on the wall, and so he suggested that uh, I approach uh, Annabelle and uh, Gail and uh, Jan. Uh, somebody had said that they thought I'd charge an arm and a leg, so I told them I wouldn't. And, uh, so I started having thoughts about what I'd put on the wall when they sort of said that quite like it. So uh, And I saw this beautiful book, uh, Moon Rabbit, by Natalie Russell, and the colours si situation in it was just the best swatch I'd seen forever. Uh, I used to teach interior design, and I was very proud to find my students had uh, gone on one to design hospital wards and uh, uh, two others. Um, uh, a cafe in uh, in Oxton called the Moose. Anyway, um, so as I'm looking at these walls, I thought, oh, oh the wall lights, they'll, they'll get in the way. And I thought, oh no, they'll turn into street lights, that'd be brilliant. Uh, so I'd sort of got the colour swatch from Natalie Russell and street light idea. And I always liked the idea that Slinky's had a French feel. In fact, everything in West Kirby has now, you know, Le Beurs, La Paz. Um, it's just everything's kind of. Uh, monosyllabic kind of uh, text message stuff. Um, so anyway, I thought, well, Ronald Searle, uh, I'll create a kind of French uh, or a Parisian feel. It sort of turned into a kind of village feel, which was even nicer, really. Um, sort of push the push the walls back by sort of creating a road that sort of led to the window, and then a road that led from the window on the other side, and uh, then. Um, cobblestones and tables and chairs so that it sort of expands the actual sort of people in there really in a way but then a kind of friendly kind of romantic thing I even said thank you to Rosie Noteworthy the girl I love uh, who'd sent me a birthday present um, so it became a very romantic atmosphere and um, I uh, brought uh, um, Emmanuel the big issue seller a friend of mine uh, to be on one of the walls and then uh, had a sort of late birthday uh, party with him in there as well um, so yeah it's, it's had really nice feedback from all my friends and their uh, their customers so very great um, I'm trying to do voiceover for some of these images and uh, I'll cut and paste them in and see how that goes God bless bye <coughs> Graham Davis got married recently and uh, <laughs> Jan and Gail, it was a lovely time. Um, sort of uh, want to also uh, had an extraordinary week really. Uh, friends of mine from United Reformed Church got married and uh, it's just mind blowing really. I had some time with my daughter uh, flying a kite in Brighton. Uh, anyway. <coughs> I'll sort of scoot the camera around uh, the place so you can see uh, the feel of it sort of half finished. And then um, s this narrative will sort of reach to, uh, I think, the bit uh, where I'll be painting the, the road on the right hand side of the window so you get the, uh, the feel of the scale of it. Okay, we'll uh, pop this one in as well. Okay. So, as you can see on the <coughs> right of me, is one of those. Uh, Wall lights that got turned into a street light I actually go on later to round off the um, the white so it's got even more illusion. It's a nice sort of false perspective of this road leading off from the road outside. Um, you can see a uh, chap in the tree. I put a trumpet in his hand eventually. Um, see, it just leads leads up nicely from the window either side. There's this road and then the sort of village feel tucked back. Uh, the trees actually reach up onto the roof and uh, just to the right of the tree um, is um, a waiter serving Rosie Noteworthy. God bless you.
this is Slinky's, and um, we we'll introduce you to the chap who asked for these drones to go back up uh, in a minute. Uh, a friend of mine, Graham Davis, had um, had put some drones on some time back, and Nick was missing them, so uh, that's Nick over there. This is uh, Dennis just arriving. Just arriving there, and that's Nick's friend. Down here is Sophie. There's Nick about to order, uh, Dennis about to order a drink. In the background, then, these are the paintings of Brooke so far. We haven't been finished yet. We're slowly working your way around. And uh, Dennis is just ducked there, thinks he can escape the target, but he can't. To the street lights. This is my friend Nick, he's just back from Holland. Yeah. And uh, it was your idea, wasn't it, Nick? Yeah. Because you liked Graham's yeah. drawings on the wall and you missed it when they cleared them off. That's yeah? right. What do you think of this then? This is fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Well done, well God, done. God bless you. This is my friend Dennis. Do you like it, Dennis? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dennis. God bless you. How's your voice? Improving. Improving. Fantastic. Start laughing her head off. This is Istra. I'll just explain. There you are. So this is say hello. There you are. These are these are customers who I'm having a cup of. Is it off? It's on. Someone's scrubbing on the wall. <laughs> Just get another bit of wall so I can put the uh, email address. I think what I can, I'll find it down here as well. Just, just want to put the email address on somewhere. Okay. These strange creative people there. Yeah. It's daubing on the walls. <laughs> Graffiti, yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed. There we go. Sorted. <laughs> Well, sadly, uh, I lost two bits of video clip. One of me uh, doing a watercolour of Harrison. Uh, another one of uh, my friend Ed, Gil Ed Gilchrist. Um, we did a sort of interview about his uh, family interests and stuff. Um, anyway, uh, in these photographs, you'll see Emmanuel, you'll see Jan and Gail, you'll see Chris and um, uh, Beryl and Dave, and lots of people and. Um, Sophie. I actually put uh, a set of drawings that I made in Slinky's when she was singing. I'll put those on here as well. Um, oh, and an image of uh, Slinky's from outside that was part of a big block I did uh, last year. I, d I like to write articles for Cheshire Live, and so I've done two on West Kirby so far, both mentioned in Slinky's. So, um, God bless you. probably be uh, wrong to show you everything, uh, you need to get the feel of it in there. I, I want to do an animation film of it eventually too. Um, just want to make the uh, figures on the walls move as a kind of film. Make the cars drive down from one side and through and across and up the other wall and round, a bit like a scale extra track that I had when I was a kid. I want uh, waiters to turn around and pour drinks into uh, customers reaching toward the walls and perhaps customers walking into the walls. So it'll be a long project, it might take some time. <coughs> um, so then, um, 
work can be commissioned from me at um, 6251309 or jim at jimtheartist.co.uk uh, I tend to do lots of uh, watercolours uh, for children and um, buildings and uh, commission for an A3 portrait of a person is about £45 and a building about 60 uh, For uh, the work you've seen on Slinky's Wall it would be about starting price about £1,000 maybe a small wall could be between four and 600 but uh, something that scale would need to be um, a reasonable amount. Okay, God bless you.